Yes, so royal set up in the palace. Hmm. We just discovered that only of Ife Hot's uh, horse tail whip has been missing. Hmm. This particular one, they did not announce it though. Because if they announce it, people will laugh Kabiesi. People will say Kabiesi is he only you. Is he only you in the palace? Every day this one is missing, that one is missing. Now wow. Now wow. My brothers, my sister, they say who no go, no go, no, who no no, no go, go. Hmm. It's a serious bomb shit. Hey, hey, hey. Our Tumakpa, our Tumakpa is working. They say this particular one that is missing now. Hmm. They say that is how all Lori Toby Phillips came to the palace. So. She came to the palace, she came with power. She just went straight to Naomi quarters. They don't know if they duplicated the keys. They don't know how they are using to open that Naomi door and Toby Phillips open the door and enter inside. Wahala, wahala promos. Ah, ah. The guy that were there, they cannot quarry her because she's an Olori. So what one of the guys did was to run and go and tell Oni of Ife 001. There's this particular man that Oni of Ife checked for security. And I went at them, ah. Oh, Lori, Toby Phillips have come when you open Naomi's chamber and she has entered. They don't know what she's looking for, but that she's chanting. She's saying, Long live KBSC, long live KBSC, that KBSC will live long. That no strange woman will come and collect KBSC glory. Nobody will come and collect their husband from them. That they were shocked to. It's the shock that they were shocked that made them to come and tell the, the, the chief security officer. The chief security officer now said, okay, let him come and check. The chief security officer now ran down to uh, Naomi quarters. You know, they renovated it, put new things and everything. How did Toby Phillips got the key to that place? Nobody know. Like, why are these women like this? Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you to my new and returning subscribers. You guys are in for a ride of a lifetime. Yes, so I said I should come and cap you guys the Capri song. Gay, gay. That is that only of if a chief security officer ran downstairs. And as he ran downstairs, what did he meet? Ronke, uh, Toby Phillips was already inside Naomi's uh, apartment. What is she doing? She said uh, that the only of if a horse whip that is uh, missing, yes, the horse tail that is missing, that is in Naomi's quarters. And they asked her, how did he get to Naomi's quarter? She said she saw it, that Naomi said it, that the last time that she and Naomi had a confrontation, that Naomi said uh, that the royal horse tail is with her. And she know that Naomi cannot take it out. The nurse said, are you sure? He said she was very, very sure. And that is why she came unannounced to carry it. Because if you come unannounced to carry it like this, you can get it and nobody will know. Okay. Okay, you came unannounced to carry it because you are the Coco, you are the king, you are the Alpha and Omega, B. No problem. No problem. The nurse asked her, how did she get the key to the apartment? She said the place was open. <laughs> hey, hey. The chief security officer said it cannot be open. I personally lock it. Oh, only touch it with his hand. She said she just touched it and the thing opened. Then I look at her, her hand. There was like a red, a red thing like blood and charcoal on Toby Phillips' hand. Like it's like when she used it to touch the door, like magic, the door opened. Then I started scrutinizing her. Then I started asking her, what did she put in that room? Because it's not ordinary. How can you come straight from your car? And they say she was running. Look. You see the way she was running because she needed to do that in fast, fast. Hey, hey. She was running and she ran and she entered into Naomi's chamber. What was she doing there? What was she doing there, my brothers, my sisters? Hmm. Before, before they said they knew anything, she said nobody will take her glory, nobody will take her star. That is the, all the things she was shouting. That nobody will take her glory, nobody will take her star. Who wants to take your glory? Who wants to take your star? She said Queen Naomi. That it was Queen Naomi and collaboration. Then I said, okay, where is the horse still? She now checked, checked, checked. She didn't see anything. She said the thing has disappeared. It has disappeared. The question now is, what was she doing inside Naomi's chamber? What was she doing in Naomi's corner? What was the motive behind she going to Naomi's house? When we are saying this thing, they will say we are saying, Kabiye, see, these women need to be taught a tolerance. Kabiye, see, these women need to be given the cocoa of the cocoline. These women need to be taught the difference between peace and and trouble because it's like they naturally like trouble they naturally like wahala and if they naturally like trouble and wahala they cannot bring our beautiful queen naomi into a place like this our queen naomi is more than this our queen naomi needs to go forward our queen naomi is a woman that the lord have blessed look at them running into our quarters they said only of if a chief security officer was so angry at her and was like i don't expect this from you they say don't come to the palace why are you still coming to the palace so that was when Ronke told her, who is the person that said that she not come to the palace? Then born the person where? Who be the person mama? Who be the person papa? I say Ronke and Toby Phillips. 
Toby Phillips says she have the right to this palace in case they do not know that they are preparing to bring her to the palace. And when she comes to the palace, they will know who is the real D in the palace. The chief security officer, they, they, they just went to tell Kabesi and Kabesi called Ronke. And before they came, what happened? Ronke, I said Ronke called uh, Toby Phillips. Toby Phillips said that she's trying to save Kabesi, that she was dreaming. And in that dream, she saw um, Naomi carry the horse whip. And Naomi carried it and kept it on the on the chair in her parlor. There's a particular royal chair that KBAC have that she put in that uh, Naomi new parlor, and he kept it there. And they know that once Na oh, Naomi uh, no Oni comes, that is where Oni will be sitting. There. That Naomi kept it there, and that is why he went there. That she saw it koro koro in her dream. That her dream are always hundred percent truth, and that is why she rushed. She wanted to come and carry it. She wanted to carry them on her way. It's like um. Somebody had first start to enter the room and carried it. Oh, Nina asked Toby Phillips, so how did you get the key to that apartment? That is the question she has not yet answered. How did you get the key to that apartment? She said she did not hold key. She just came and she touched it. They say, but that one of the palace guard, one of the palace staff saw you putting key. She said maybe the person eyes is painting the person because if she look at her hand, she did not hold key. When she now said, look at my hand, I did not hold key. That's why they now saw a red and black right up on the on her palm. Then I asked her what is this. She said she did not know that uh, maybe because she priced chicken before coming. Maybe she touched the chicken. How can you as Olori go to the market and price chicken? Where did where did the market open? You know they've catch her now. Once they catch you with lie, you will do another lie to cover up another lie. You will do another lie to cover up another lie. That only was so angry and only gave her last warning. Only told her in the presence of all the guards. That any day, eh, any day he comes and he see her. If they see her enter the palace and she go to Naomi's quarter, then they should run and do her. That when they made that statement, that was her wrong. Um, Otto be feeling not her crying. Any small thing, she will start crying. Emotional blackmail. Just want to um, do Kabiye see anyhow. She not her crying, you know. That why would Kabiye see tell the, the, the maid to do her that kind of thing? That whatever she's doing, she's doing from Kabiye see. Even that hostel that she was carrying, coming to carry, she was running to come and carry it for the sake of Kabiye see. That Kabiye see is a word. Kabiye see is everything. That whatever she does is for Kabiye see. She see no reason why Kabiye see will not see the good in what she's doing. She see no reason why Kabiye see will not just see that whatever she's doing is for the best of Kabiye see. But since Kabiye see doesn't want to do it, she will stop being. On um, there for KBAC, she will stop standing for KBAC. Everybody should go and do that day because she's tired already. That she will be standing for KBAC, fighting for KBAC. But even with all that fight that she's doing for KBAC, KBAC is not even still seeing her value. Sister, nobody send you. Find somewhere and go and sit down. So, guys, put your comment in the comment section below. See you guys later. Peace out.